Hey everybody, Larry Lawton here. I got a great video for you today. Yes, it is a great video for you today. I'm gonna be reviewing Mr. Beast in, he says, prison for 24 hours. Before I get started, please check us out on member programs, YouTube member programs, Patreon member programs. First of all, I love reviewing when he does something with jail, prison, solitary confinement. He's done a bunch of stuff like this. And, and I, listen, I love this kid. Uh, you know, he, I, the way he does it makes me laugh, makes me smile. Gets a little right, gets a little wrong, probably on purpose. Who am I to say what he's doing right or wrong? But when it comes to prison, you know I'm gonna start uh, reviewing it and talking about the intricacies that affected my life after spending 12 straight years in prison. And we're gonna get going right now. The premise of this video is him and his four friends are sentenced to 24 hours in prison. Now, we all know it's not prison, it's jail. And nobody goes to prison for 24 hours. Obviously, you have to go to, you have to get a sentence of 366 days. So 365 plus one, 366 days, and you go to a state prison. Feds is a whole different animal. Uh, but in this case, uh, you'd be uh, getting a felony, and obviously it's not a felony here. This is a fun video because they get a little right and they get a little wrong. Let's get into it. Good luck, man. I mean, come on. They can't actually arrest me for not uploading. Like, I'll try to do three a week. I mean, I've averaged two a week. I thought that was pretty good. Just the premise of that I love. Mr. Beast not uploading. I know the pressures of uploading. I upload three days a week. But I like it. They got a real police department. They got a real uh, uh, cop to arrest them and put them in, in, in cuffs. You have failed to upload more than two videos a week this entire year. Your Honor, my videos just take a lot of time. How about this? I sent you to 24 hours in jail for an easy video. But could you send it to my friends as well? That way, you know, the content's a little better. Consider it done. 24 hours in jail, Mr. Beast and friends. You know, I like that. And you know, whenever I look at stuff, what he does, I like the fact, you know, people want me to do a judge show. Uh, I think a judge show would be really pretty cool and I think I could do a great judge show. Understanding the law the way I do and understanding punishment, I think it'd be a pretty good show. Are we supposed to get a phone call or something? Yeah. Wait, you really locked it. <laughs> Taylor, calm down. Taylor, you're freaking out. You know, they actually are in a, a police department uh, cells. That's what they have in the back of police departments. Uh, it's not even a county jail, it's a police department cell. And I'll tell you what though, you know, watching that guy close the door, I know this is crazy and this is why I wanna try to do it for my own, for my own, see if I could do it. Uh, claustrophobia, since prison, I got claustrophobia. I've never had it that bad. I can't even get it on an open MRI machine. I feel weird on a plane unless I'm sitting, sleeping against the window or in the aisle and I feel cramped, I feel like I can't get out. Something, I, I have to put my mind at a different spot. I know it's real though, man. I, I once told a dude, doctor, when you put me in this MRI machine, I'll break the whole fucking machine. And uh, you know, of course they don't want that to happen. But that's what the first thing I thought there was claustrophobic. You know, when that door locks, you know, you know shit starts going through your head. Shit would start going through my head like, what happens if someone leaves? It's not a joke. Uh, what happens if fucking, you know, they can't get the key and they have to try to get somewhere? I mean, I, it, that's what the fuck problem is with claustrophobia. And I never had that until prison. And I spent three years in the hole. Three years in the hole. How I fucking did it, I don't know. Jake, none of us have our phones. Show them the time. 224. <laughs> so 224 tomorrow, 24 hours from right now. Please. He will unlock this cell and let us out. So yeah, guys, we're gonna spend 24 hours in jail. This is an actual jail cell. Wish us luck. Very rarely do you see a uh, uh, prison or jail cells, even in police departments, with the bunks like this, because they're not supposed to be for holdovers. You're supposed to in and out of that place, and you go to the county jail, or you know, and that's what happens, or you get released right from there. So you don't see bunks like that. Obviously, uh, they have them here. Those mattresses you're seeing are actually better than the mattresses I had. Ours are actually thinner than that, but uh, they suck. Uh, two, jail wouldn't be like this. Uh, prison wouldn't be like this. You know, wouldn't be in a four-man cell. You will. Some prisons have dormitories. Uh, but you're going to get a locker. You're going to get a little or a space or a box. We don't even have lockers. Some pr prisons have a box. A, literally a box you put under your bed. Uh, and that's it. And you can actually lock that box. All right, Chris. 24 hours. How do you feel? Can I leave? 
Nope. Oh. Chandler, how do you feel? 24 hours left. <laughs> Gary, you having fun? Yeah. All right, guys. We'll, we'll get to know each other really well. 24 hours in a prison cell. You know, I do like that they all got the jumpsuits on. Uh, obviously, in a police station jail, you're just in your clothes. Uh, again, they wait. They, you're only there until they transfer you to the county jail. So it, it, it's not a long-term holdover. Uh, and they don't, you, they don't have jumpsuits and change outs and all that kind of stuff. Uh, they will make sure you have nothing on you. You'll be searched a few times. Again, this is where, you know, suitcasing comes in if you want to bring something in. And believe it or not, people actually, dope addicts, will suitcase dope because they know they go to jail a lot. All right, guys. Um, let me just put this out there. Probably shouldn't um, break the law because being in jail sucks. Good for you, Jimmy. Don't tell them don't break the law. I love that part of it. You know, he always has a message, Mr. Beast, in his videos. And, and you know, I appreciate him for a young guy to be like that. I haven't seen sunlight in 13 years. I mean, days. I'm going yeah. crazy. You know, that made me laugh because I remember not seeing sunlight in 11, 11 straight months. The, the windows they have in prison are, are fogged, so you won't see it. You'll know it as a light coming through, but it's not like a, a sunlight. So I, I, I do get that, and that's why anybody coming from the shoe, special housing unit in prisons, or the, the whole, we call them the whole shoe, seg, those places, they come out pale white. Even black guys come out lighter. You, believe it or not, it's, it's something that you, you'll notice right away if you're on a yard or you just got out of the box. Oh boy, I would hate to go to jail for a few years. Yeah, imagine this, just doing this for 365 days. I, didn't think I, could I bet I wouldn't be addicted to social media. You know, he's right. You go to prison, you learn how to, to do things with a pen and a paper. You know, you don't even have a computer. You don't have something of that nature. So there's no phone or this. You have a phone on a wall that's monitored and you can have to pay $3.50 for 15 minutes to talk to your uh, loved one on the outside. And if you don't have money on your books, you don't even get to call anybody because you can't call collect. So anyway, here you are, uh, the little things that matter. And you know, you, we really don't realize how addicted we are to whether it's TVs or the computers, our phones, uh, and that goes for all of us, and me too now. Uh, but I know how to handle it, because I'm a little bit different on that end. I would probably still find some way to smuggle it in. I'd get a phone and just hide it in my coin purse. I like what he said, he'll just get a phone in and hide it in his coin purse. Uh, I hope that means suitcasing it. <laughs> you ain't getting that phone in and no coin, coin break. Thank you. We were starving. Chris, here's your rations. Six crackers and a bowl. Here you go, Gary. Thank you. All right. That made sense. You know, if you're in a uh, a little holdover, they'll give you a. But usually, it's a. It, it literally is two pieces of bread, maybe one slice of bologna, or two pieces of bread, and and they're always outdated crackers and, and uh, usually a jungle juice. They'll give you one of those little little like milk containers thing, but they're a juice. Something of that nature, or a water, or nothing. They'll give you, a, you had to drink out of the fucking faucet. We should be able to last another 10 hours now. Is this really our food? Yeah. You never been in jail? No. Don't break the law, this sucks. I also ran from the cops, but they didn't seem to care about that. Now look at how dirty their cell is getting. If I live with them, I'd have all those motherfuckers cleaning everything up. They should bring me in on a video right there. I'd be going crazy. I don't know who I'd throw against the wall. Yeah, I don't know what I'd do. It'd be funny as shit. So, Chris, what did you say? I gotta poop. How does that make you feel? Seeing how the only toilet is right there, and we still have 21 hours left, do you just want him to poop in front of us? I mean, if I can throw it later. Garrett, are you okay with Chris pooping while we're all in the room? Yeah, I'm all right. I've seen Chris poop a couple times. It's nothing new. Go ahead, man. I like what Jimmy says. He asked the other guys, is it okay to poop? Uh, trust me. You gotta go, you gotta go. I don't give a fuck. I've been in a cell like this with 20 people and you tell them, fuck, you gotta go, you gotta go. Usually if you're in a cell with other people and you gotta go, you turn yourself around to the side. Like if you're on a bunk like that, you turn yourself and you face the wall. And the guy pooping will uh, keep flushing, keep flushing that toilet because it's a suction toilet. And when you keep sucks flushing, that not only the shit goes down, the smell goes down, and that's what you want to do. And you just keep doing that, and the sound and everything else. 
So you become a professional. You keep pushing, pushing as you're shitting, and it goes down, and that's how you do it. Um, I got a kick out of this. So, as you guys see, the toilet's in the corner, and... Just poop your pants, man. You know, it's funny, uh, uh, the one guy says poop his pants, of course you're not gonna do that. But you know, when he took off his jumpsuit, he has pants on. That's uncomfortable. Have your underwear on under there or nothing. For all you people wondering why we never have girls in our challenges, like the $100,000 circle one and stuff, this is why. Because making girls poop in front of a bunch of guys would just be... Brute. Having Chris poop right beside me is uncomfortable. Could you imagine? I cannot poop if you guys are gonna sit there and, and wait for that. Are you a nervous pooper? Yes, I am actually very. You know that, that that's an actual thing. Um, you know when you did a when you maybe some people are like that too. If you have to do a urinalysis or a piss test, and the cop or the the analyst is looking right at your dick. Uh, it, it's kind of weird. Sometimes you don't pee. You know, you put on the water. You, you you do something. You know, to try to get you get your mind thinking. You flush the flush the the, the urinal a few times. Uh, try to get it where it goes. That, but that is a thing. Don't think it's not a thing, guys. But when you get into prison, and you're in there for a long time. You don't give a fuck. You just do what you got to do. It's a bodily function. That's fucking everybody's got to do. Look at this teamwork. This is Mr. Beast teamwork right here. Yeah. Give him a kiss. You get away from me. You know, he was holding up the, the, the blanket there, as you saw. Again, you do dudes, turn your head around, motherfucker. That's how I'd say it. I mean, if people just do it, you know. You don't want to watch them. If you do, you're fucking, I don't know, wants to watch that. Is that my gushers? Oh, you got them gushers? Here. Oh, Have all the yes. minutes. I can stay in here for years. Sweet and what? Uh, Chandler, he got you a second full box right here. What? Yep, two boxes. No way. Okay, who gets you all this kind of shit when you're in prison or jail or anywhere? Ah, ain't happening, guys. That's not happening. This is way better than my house. Yeah. I like jail. Now I got gushers. Are, are they what you're used to? Mm -hmm. Is that is it spicy? Yeah. All right, look at the garbage on the floor. I know it's just driving me nuts. <laughs> I know the young guys just driving me nuts. I don't know. I, I lived clean. Uh, I know the guys. You know, people are. You know, we all live messy. Go to my room. It might be messy. Might be clothes or whatever. But dirty crap. Because the first thing I keep thinking of is mice or or some kind of rodents or cockroaches. I was in a prison cell where you had to put toilet paper in your ears because cockroaches would go in your ear. People have to, how to get them surgically removed. That that's a thing. Uh, so they'll go in your ear and get lodged in your ear. Imagine it. Oh God, I keep thinking about it. Hey yo, Chandler, hmm? what we got? Mountain Dew. So people in prison get Mountain Dews? Yeah, if they're really really good, or they know somebody who can smuggle it in. Uh, no, they don't get Mountain Dew. Now again, this could be a it's a it's a city jail. So, you know, cops will actually have to go out and buy food from a local store. I was in, in, in the jail in Pennsylvania at 6th and Market when they went downtown and got me a Philly cheesesteak. Yeah, for real, a Philly cheesesteak. You want to talk about fucking going crazy? I mean, that was like made my fucking life that day. If you're going to go to jail, don't go to jail with Chandler. Chandler will just fart the entire time. And I'm, I'm a bug. Chandler, please, just put oh my God, squeeze him out. I've been with a dude uh, in, in jail who's a farter, and literally he would do what I said earlier. He would sit on the toilet, and when he farted, he, he hit the, uh, the suction. Because toilets... Like that. And when you do that, it takes the smell and takes everything down with it. And you gotta respect your celly. You know, uh, let's face it guys, that, that this is where you live. You know what the worst part of jail is? Literally everything. You know the guy's right about that? What's the worst part? Fucking everything, being there. It's not fun guys, it's just not fun. I'm feeling pretty tired myself. I'm probably gonna hit the hay. Is exactly right. You see the way he has something tied over his uh, eyes? We used to take a t shirt, tie it over your eyes. You take a t shirt, tie it around your thing. So I was in a hole where had, they kept the light on all the time. Well, we used to, you know, when they issue you clothes, especially if you're in a, in a warm area, obviously, when you're up north anywhere, they issue you like a hat, like a uh, one of those, you know, wool caps. You pull it right down here 
over your eyes. That's what a lot of people, and I got to used to sleeping like that all the time. Inmate, eight o'clock. Can't sleep all day. Okay, look at that floor. It's driving me nuts. It's driving me nuts. Throw it out of the cell. Oh, I forgot what I was gonna say. Yeah, so the prison garden. I'm stopping it right there. Look on the right. Papa John's Pizza. Boy, I wanna go to this jail. This would be pretty cool. They got Papa John's Pizza, Mountain Dews. That's not happening, guys. I know I keep saying, and we know it's a video, but I, I just, even that, if they would've put them with like paper bags with the bologna sandwich and, and a little soup and bullshit, I would've looked and said, wow, they really hit that. This is a fun, this is a fun night of four guys getting together. And now if they were all smoking weed, wow, what a night they'd have. I mean, I, I've done this with, with guys hanging out smoking weed and having the munchies eating this shit and the place looking like this. Just we weren't in jail. It's like 8 a.m. and this prison guard literally just came up and banged on the cell door. Unlike my friends, I'm not a baby and it didn't affect me. Hey Chris, how did, uh, how, how did it affect you? Or were you scared? You know, there are guys who could sleep through a fucking hurricane. I've slept, sometimes, I've slept with a, a toilet paper roll, if anything knows about prison. A toilet paper roll you use as a pillow. And underneath the bench where people sit in cells like this, I've actually slept against that wall. I know, crazy as it is, dirty as it is, you do what you gotta do. Wait a minute. Did I see what I thought I saw? He's got a phone. This guy's got a phone. Stop the show. He's got a phone in jail. Actually, you know, you'll see videos with people from jail. And let me tell you why. Uh, I just got a message from somebody who worked in USP Atlanta, and he was telling me about how they were ca catching cell phones in there, and the guards, SIS, was actually selling them back selling them back to the people in the jail that they took them from. So we're gonna find out about that because I'm gonna do a video on that, it's gonna be a serious one. This is the guy who's got the phone, but I thought they weren't allowed to have phones. Remember he said he has the phones? Well, they lied to us. Now he's got a phone that, you know, obviously if he had a phone, everybody's gonna be texting their girls, trying to get it. He gotta, he gotta be under your cover. You'll see a person with their cover up and that's what they were underneath doing it there. We eating good this morning, Gary, aren't we? Mm -hmm. What you got? Look at this. They got Bojangles. Bojangles. Breakfast. Wow. God, I'm making me hungry, actually. Hey, Jim, how's the prison food? That's a lot better than I thought, to be honest. What are you eating? Cheese biscuit. Nice. Wow, it sounds good, that cheese biscuit. So, Chris just woke up. How do you feel? Everything hurts. This is not a comfortable mattress. The best statement of the show. This is not a comfortable mattress. Everything hurts. You'd be surprised, you know, how you do ache. And when you get on a real mattress, believe it or not, when I got out, uh, I had a hard time because I wasn't used to it. My body wasn't used to it. Uh, your body gets used to everything, obviously. And this is one of them. Chris, if you were to ever go to jail, what would it be for? Tax evasion. I love that. Tax evasion. How about you, Chandler? Murder. Murder. All right. I mean... Chandler, you, huh? is, you good? Yeah. Okay, now he's peeing in the toilet and I want to hear, you're going to hear the flush. But in real jail, even in that county jail or wherever you're at and there's people in there, you wipe down the seat. He goes, well, I'm going to sit on that motherfucker. Your piss ain't going to be on it. You literally wipe, you take toilet paper, you take that piss off that fucking seat. There's no toilet seat that you lift up and down. These are stainless steel, but that's what you do. Oh, here comes the toilet flushing for 10 years. Now, you hear what he said? That has such a suction, I put a mattress down that fucking thing. True story. Chandler does well. Also, what made me kind of brought back a quick memory for me is in this picture I wanted to show you. Look at the mirror on the wall. That was the mirror. It's a stainless steel piece of metal. Uh, you don't have a mirror. I remember when we were in Georgia, uh, Jessup, Georgia was an older prison at that time. 
we used to be able to get a actual mirror, almost like a vanity, but not an open or anything, an actual mirror uh, from CMS that had a few of them. And, you know, I was a bookie, had a lot of stamps, so the money was there. I paid a guy named Tommy, I'll never forget his name, Tommy. I said, Tommy, he ran like the CMS. He had a lot of time, but he ran that CMS, the maintenance. I said, Tommy, man, here's five books of stamps. Can you get me a mirror? And he got me a fucking mirror in my cell, and I was like, oh my God, you, you don't realize it. Not to break it and fucking use it, that's what, the, you know, their excuse is. Now they got these pieces of stainless steel, and it's really, try shaving in that shit. You do, but it's fuck sucks. Delaware, yes. I need everyone's phones. I want them all to FaceTime their family. All right, everyone, it's time to FaceTime your family. All right, Mr. Beast. We know they had the phones. I saw guys on the phones. Now you're giving them the phone back. I got you on that one. What's up, man? Hey, I'm in jail. I see that. Keep huh? him bail me out. Oh, hell no. You shouldn't have done nothing wrong, man. Good for you, Dad. Good for you. How long have you been in here? I've been here for 30 years, yeah. boy. What, what you in for? I'm in for jaywalking and aggressive jaywalking. Oh, man. I didn't care, so I did it again. That's aggressive jaywalking. Yo, Iron Mike, you need to calm down, yo. Oh, I can't even calm down. <laughs> hey, nice chain. Thanks, man. I got it at the dollar store. <laughs> First of all, you wouldn't have a chain in jail. Number one, you don't have any jewelry. They do give you, if you were married, a wedding ring you could have on. Uh, you can have a religious chain. Uh, usually, like, you'll have a medal with a cross, and they would grant that. And they have to grant Some places don't even do that anymore. They don't give me shit. Did you see how dirty that place is? Oh, it's driving me nuts, guys. You got a visitor. Happy birthday. Ah! Shh, I need you to be very quiet. Whoa! I almost uh, bit into this. <laughs> this is great. Made me laugh. You know, the, the old knife in the cake thing or the, the sore blade in the cake. The visits, though, would be come on out, go to a visiting room or something like that. But again, this is this is his beast. Listen, I, I like his shit, so I get a kick out of watching him. And when he puts up prison stuff, that, that's what I always like to look at and review. And, and it makes me smile that guys can have fun like this and, and kind of open eyes. Would always a good message of not going to jail. These bars look a lot thicker than I thought they would. I would see guys, you know, said, talk about escape and stuff, guys. And you do hear about it in county jails and shit. What's the guy sent six months or a year and he escapes? Kidding me? That's not worth it. Because now you're going for another five years. Escape charge. I did find out something in, in one of the videos I did. In Germany, if you try to escape or do escape, you don't get any more time. They consider it a natural act. Pretty good, I, I'm all for that, honestly. All right, boys, that was a long 24 hours, but we've made it out. Um, you guys know, though, we're, we're fugitives now. Yeah. Couldn't we have just stayed like a couple more minutes and not been fugitives? Wasn't worth it. I thought this was a pretty cool video, everybody. Check it out, it's Mr. Beast. Everybody knows who he is, who's on YouTube at least. Uh, I watch him. Uh, when I see these videos of, of jail or something, I get a kick out. I like all this stuff. He's a good kid. He's doing the right thing. You know, like him or hate him, I think he's uh, always got a good message. Always tries to keep people, don't do something stupid. Anyway, I hope you like my review. When it comes to jails, it's just the way I look at things. It's just the way who I am. Please, if you haven't, subscribe, subscribe. Check us out. Put this in your playlist. Pass it on. Have a great day, everybody. Please stay safe. Make one good choice a day. Have a good day, everybody.